When talking about the future, we don't tend to look back. Always forward, eyes up front. Yet we never seem to look down, even though what lies beneath us plays a big part in what lies ahead. Throughout history, our natural resources have always been of vital importance in helping us grow, us as people, as a society, us and our industry. So we need to see below the surface, and at the same time, we need to listen. Listen to what people have to say about uncovering these buried treasures. And that's what the INFACT project did. Our mission? To develop innovative, non-invasive and fully acceptable exploration technologies. We identify the discrepancy between the need for raw materials um, and uh, the reluctance for people to accept exploration and mining. So what we try to do is uh, not only to, to change uh, the views of uh, the population, but also to change how uh, exploration and mining uh, is op being operated. For this purpose, we established three reference sites in the south, centre and north of Europe. Three regions characterised by active or historical mining activities, each with different challenges where we could test the technologies and hear the voice of the stakeholders. The EU dates back to 1952, when six countries decided to integrate coal and steel production. It's therefore safe to say that Europe has a strong tradition in mining, but social, political and technical obstacles have put pressure on European mineral exploration. The INFACT project is overcoming these challenges through innovation, dialogue and reform. INFACT is an initiative funded by the Horizon 2020 Fund of the European Commission. Uh, it's a research and innovation action. And the consortium is formed of 17 partners uh, that are, come from all over Europe. And uh, basically the consortium can be split into two parts. 50% uh, comes from geoscience background and the other 50% come from the social science or stakeholder engagement side of things. Raw materials play an essential role in transforming Europe into a low carbon and circular economy. Think of copper, nickel or cobalt for the batteries in our phones or electric vehicles, silver and tin for all our circuitry, or rare earth elements for the solar panels that power our homes. But, as it turns out, studies show that mineral exploration raises concerns, especially at a local level, where people could face direct impact from mining. Olen asunut täällä Sodankylässä nyt lähes 40 vuotta. Tulevaisuus on pelottaa siinä mielessä, että että jos jos tämä sakatti miningin aloittaa toiminnan ja tuotannon, niin vaikka vaikka tämän hetkisten tietoja mukaan mukaan Kyseinen kaivostoiminta on, on maanalaista toimintaa, niin, niin se ei voi olla niin kuin vaikuttamatta tähän maanpäälliseen toimintaan. Se tulee näkymään tästä meidän talostakin hyvin lähellä, lähellä ja, ja miten se vaikuttaa niin kuin vesistöön ja luontoon. Most Europeans do understand the need to mine but prefer it elsewhere. That elsewhere, however, would signify a huge dependence on foreign mineral supplies, which is strategically far from ideal. So in fact, tries to go to the bottom of this reluctance towards local exploration. Another strong focus of the INFACT project is towards developing innovative exploration techniques, as not so long ago, even just mapping out the possible natural resources meant upsetting the target area. Now, with airborne geophysics and remote sensing, detecting mineralization at various depths can be mapped from a helicopter with the least environmental impact. The 
the helicopter is uh, using a system that is called electromagnetic method and is inducing current into the ground and we are getting back information from the underground that is um, uh, interpreted by geophysicists. From there we can see uh, if there is something of interest underground. It's non-invasive because uh, it's, it's, uh, it's on the air. We are not touching the ground. Uh, we don't need to uh, mark the ground. And even though this way of imaging is non-invasive, in very sensitive areas, like Sakati in the north of Finland, we need to go the extra mile. This reindeer herding hotspot is a Natura 2000 area created to protect natural diversity, which meant that for exploring this unique region, everything had to be taken into account. Involving the local community and reindeer herders from the get-go was crucial to get a clear view on best practices. Like no flights on Sundays, or not in peak reindeer herding or bird nesting season. Because, in fact, it's not only about new technologies. It's also about engaging and informing the people at all three sites, we scheduled online surveys, held citizen meetings and gave workshops, months before any testing was done. Silloin kun ne alkoi elokuun alussa, niin niillä oli, niin kuin poromiehille oli se tilaisuus täällä ja sitten oli kunnan asukkaille kunnan talolla ja sitten oli muistaakseni kahdessa eri sanomalehdessä oli ilmoitus siellä ja Sodankylän lentokentällä oli vielä semmoinen näyttely, missä oli sitä infaktin tietoa, että pitivät semmoisen ennen kuin ne alkoi lentää sitä. Every reference site has its own lessons for us to learn. In the Iberian pyrite belt in the south of Spain, mining has been part of the region since Roman times. The two active mines of Rio Tinto and Cobre Las Cruces are interesting settings because of the high socio-economic dependency on mining and the strong local mining identity. Europa is a great consumer of minerals, one of the largest consumers of minerals in the world. No puede dejar de hacer minería, pero tiene que hacer otra minería distinta, ambientalmente muy respetuosa, minimizando los impactos, reduciendo los riesgos y generando una optimización social en el territorio de su actividad. En esto estamos también trabajando en el proyecto Infat para colaborar con otras entidades y proyectos en la definición de una nueva minería de la cual Europa debe ser líder en el mundo. Around the small town of Gaia in the German Ore Mountains, mining has influenced the landscape and the culture in the region for hundreds of years. Today, mineral exploration only plays a minor economic role. However, the region still has large deposits of high-tech metals. At Infact, we want to promote regions like Gaia, where modern, non-invasive technologies can make mining profitable and socially acceptable again. Die Bürger natürlich haben zu Anfang Bedenken gehabt, Fragen gehabt, aber über die Öffentlichkeitsarbeit ist gelungen, die Fragen, die, die kritischen Fragen wirklich überzeugend zu beantworten. Und jetzt haben wir in dieser Beziehung eine sehr aufgeschlossene Art. Natürlich über Bergbau redet im Augenblick keiner, weil das ist eine Erkundung. Und diese Erkundung muss wissenschaftlich erst mal unterlegt werden. Und das ist die eigentliche Aufgabe von Projekt Infakt. Out of the research data gathered on these industry relevant sites should emerge answers to the best social and environmental practices on mineral exploration, with the ultimate goal of creating trust between mining companies, local authorities, and the people. We're working towards a self sufficient and sustainable Europe. <laughs>